Honorable Sri Pranab Mukherjee, President of India, ladies and gentlemen. It's a moment of celebration for us to interact with Honorable Sri Pranab Mukherjee and felicitate him on assuming the highest office in the country. Sir, it is all the more important for CII and industry to have this unique opportunity as you have been a very close friend and proponent of Indian industry throughout your outstanding career in public service of four decades. As I represent the southern part of the country on the current occasion, let me additionally bring you greetings and felicitations from members of industry in the south. The economy in the south have benefited particularly from the policies of openness and global integration that you have instituted. Today, South India is a vibrant and attractive investment decision, destination, and is a leading growth engine for the nation's economy. In fact, sir, you have served in many capacities of direct interest for the economy and industry, commencing your industrial, your ministerial career as Deputy Minister for Industrial Development. From then on, you have constantly advocated on behalf of Indian industry in your different roles. Sir, Indian industry has greatly benefited from your intellectual depth and sagacity. In a country of many contradictions, your quick understanding of complex issues has been indispensable to forging a clear path ahead. The stimulus offered to industry at the time of the financial crisis, including reducing excise duties and propping up of liquidity, particularly helped boost the sentiments of entrepreneurs during those difficult days. Industry could respond with elasticity to its utmost order in order to quickly recover to an 8% plus GDP growth for two years. So the challenge today is to reignite entrepreneurial spirits and investor confidence to make industry the leading growth driver. A strong and dynamic industry sector that is socially committed and environmentally responsible will be the core of India of the future. Your intervention would be central to building cohesion and consensus for future policy making in this regard. Going forward, I have no doubt that through your high office, you would continue to guide and encourage the engines of the economy and would lay out definite themes for our future. In a rapidly changing world, it is all the more crucial for industry leaders to have the benefit of ideas from a person who is known for his far-sighted vision and solution-oriented managerial style. Sir, we look forward to your continued guidance and direction. Sir, we felicitate you on your new high office and hope you would continue to engage with us during your term as you have always done. Thank you. Manani Rashtrapati ji, ladies and gentlemen, Poshchim Bongo theke ekti lok Bharate Rashtrapati. Amra khubi khushi. Nishchoi, apni Bharat Vorshe Rashtrapati. Kintu amra bhabi, apni amader lok. Apni Poshchim Bongo Rashtrapati. Yes, you are India's president. But all of us from West Bengal think you are our president. And coming from Bengal as I do, it is a special privilege, a special honor, to have the opportunity to felicitate one of Bengal's greatest sons. I know from my own experience that the Honorable President is always warm, patient, gracious, committed, and he makes every person meeting him feel special. I used to accompany my father when I was 21 years old. And each time I left his home, I felt that I was the most special person. His leadership has been evident in every innings that he has played. It was to him that the government turned to arrest deterioration and bring the economy on a path of growth and stability. It was to him that the government turned for handling sticky coalition issues. It was to him that the government turned whenever there was a crisis. 
and at each call, he stood tall, deftly steering the nation through the complexities with prudent measures. Your steps, sir, for the weaker sections of society, health, education, have helped millions of our fellow citizens to a better life, a life of prosperity, a life of progress. You are, sir, a great son of India, a great thought leader, a great action leader, an inspiration for every Bengali, an inspiration for every Indian. Very humbly, our best wishes, sir. Sir, over the last three decades and more, we have had the privilege to have your guidance and direction in work and initiatives as you have held different portfolios in the government. For CII, this has been an honor, and in the following short film that we have, the, we capture the spirit of that relationship. The Confederation of Indian Industry felicitates Honorable Sri Pranam Mukherjee on assuming the highest office of the land. A luminary of visionary leadership, Sri Mukherjee has earned wide respect for his deep intellect, acumen and sagacity, which have guided the nation for over 40 years. In particular, Sri Mukherjee has brought a formidable and profound understanding to issues pertaining to national development. He converged multiple interests and helped to create consensus on major issues confronting the Indian economy. As finance minister, during the worst global economic crisis in modern times, he presided over managing the fallout and restoring growth fundamentals in India. During this time, he continued to engage intensely with industry and addressed emergent concerns. Through his timely and enlightened efforts, the economy grew at an impressive pace after the crisis. Sri Mukherjee has been a passionate and ardent votary of Indian industry throughout his long and outstanding career in public service. He strongly believes in the potential of entrepreneurship, constantly striving for supportive policy architecture to unshackle industry spirits. His confidence in Indian industry has helped it earn high respect and accolades in the global economic arena. I would like to compliment CII for its continuous contribution in building up a rapport between government and industry. Across all domains of human development, as well as in manufacturing, services, infrastructure and agriculture, Sri Mukherjee's ideas and innovation have left a strong imprint that will resonate in years to come. In a complex and changing world, Sri Mukherjee forged a new path to inspire and lead by example. He has always been a warm friend, inspiring mentor and thoughtful guide for industry. Confederation of Indian Industry has indeed been a positive, worthy partner to government of trade in its efforts to promote development and growth in the country. You are the true ambassadors of a new India. India has greatly benefited from the intellectual depth and astute vision he brought to the national endeavor of inclusive growth and development. I, Pranab Mukherjee, do swear in the name of God that I will faithfully execute the office of President of India and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect and defend the Constitution and the law and that I will devote myself to the service and well-being of the people of India. The Confederation of Indian Industry salutes this distinguished son of India Honorable Sri Pranam Mukherjee, the President of India.